How does the lack of feedback affect communication? And more importantly, how do you overcome it? Hello leaders, Francois here, back with another video addressing a challenge that affects especially those in leadership positions. Well, whether you are a CEO managing a company, an executive leading a team, the absence of feedback can feel like you're speaking into a void. Therefore, today we'll explore why this happens and what you can do about it. All right, so let's start with the first question. How does the lack of feedback actually affect communication? See, when we communicate, especially in leadership roles, we rely on feedback, whether it's verbal or whether it's nonverbal, to gauge how our message is being received. But when that feedback is absent or unclear, it creates uncertainty. It makes us question, did they understand what I said? Or do they agree with my direction? Are they just disengaged or just quiet? This silence often leads to second guessing, misinterpretation, and even frustration. Because without feedback, communication becomes a one-way street. And as leaders, we might start adjusting our messages, not based on what's true or effective, but on assumptions. And this can backfire and even lead to a breakdown in trust, both in the team and in ourselves. Now let's explore why this happens? Why do people withhold feedback? There are many reasons for this. Some people may fear conflict, while others may believe that their feedback isn't important. You see, in a work environment, team members might hesitate to give feedback because they don't want to challenge leadership. They feel like their opinion doesn't really matter or that it's safer to actually stay silent for the potential to be ridiculed or maybe even fired? Hmm. On the flip side, we as leaders might also fail to create an environment where feedback is welcome. We might send the message unintentionally that we don't need feedback or worse, that we don't want it. This can actually stifle open communication and lead to more silence, creating a cycle that feels very difficult to break. But here's the good news. The cycle can be broken. So. How do you overcome the lack of feedback and communication? The first step is in recognizing that feedback is vital for growth, not just for your team, but for you also as a leader. To encourage it, you need to make it clear that feedback isn't just welcome, it's essential. So open up those channels of communication. This means creating a safe place where people can feel comfortable sharing their thoughts, knowing that their input will be valued and not dismissed. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, How to Become More, for more insightful business videos like this. There's another piece of this puzzle, getting feedback for yourself as a leader. As you know, many leaders can feel that this is very difficult. You're at the top of the ladder. Who can you turn to? You might feel like sharing your own struggles or uncertainties would make you seem like weak and so you stay silent, navigating that lack of feedback all alone. But remember, even as a leader, you need mirrors to reflect back what you're doing, what you're doing well, and where you can improve. This is where having a trusted confidant, a mentor, or an executive coach can make all the difference. Someone who understands your journey, who can provide honest, constructive feedback in a way that lifts you up rather than tears you down. That's where I come in. Through confidential conversations, we can break through the barriers that silence creates day in and day out. We can explore how the lack of feedback might be holding you back, whether it's causing frustration in your communication with others or doubts in your own leadership. By talking it out, will not only identify the problem, but also discover the solutions that will help you create a more open, engaging environment, both for yourself and for your team. Remember, communication is a two-way street and feedback is actually the bridge that connects you with those around you. Without it, we're left guessing, but with it, we can foster trust, clarity, and stronger relationship. So, 
If you've been struggling with the silence, if the lack of feedback has been affecting your leadership, reach out. Let's have a conversation that breaks through the uncertainty, unlocks your potential, and empowers you to actually lead with even greater confidence and greater results. Thank you for watching. This is Francois Lupien from How to Become More.